This is the man tasked with piecing together the puzzle surrounding Gavin Watson's death. Lotta visited the scene just more than 24 hours after the fatal crash. He told SABC News that he has identified three additional possibilities that need to be probed. When you say any possibilities, uh, are you talking about um, whether it was just a, a normal accident or whether they may have been possible foul play? But to explain it on the two extremes, the, the, the one extreme would be it could be uh, a, an easy explanation like a medical condition of the person in the vehicle on the one side. Uh, but at the same time, you have to investigate it as if it is a murder scene, which means a lot of detail needs to go into that investigation. That's actually how any in, um, investigation should be done where a motor vehicle collision occurs. Okay, that's the problem. It isn't being done like that. An independent accident scene expert with 30 years experience says no theory can be ruled out for now. It might be uh, attempted suicide, for example, like uh, in the Glenna Glady case. Uh, there might even be foul play, somebody else that wanted him to be deceased in a motor vehicle accident. So you cannot just disregard it. Although it is theory, you have to now match your physical evidence and other evidence with that theory to see if it's true or not true. The most important part is, is to determine did, did something happen before the accident that caused the accident or is it is all the damage and, and stuff, uh, especially the axle and the wheel, is that because of the damage sustained during the accident. Watson's death came as he was due to appear before SARS on a tax inquiry. The Revenue Service wouldn't respond to SABC inquiries. Lotta has a tough task at hand. Police say no witnesses have so far come forward and similarly... No CCTV footage has yet emerged. Amid wild speculation and conspiracy theories about exactly what happened at the crash scene, Lotta says it's likely to be a lengthy wait before a final report is released. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News at Oartambo International Airport.